Okay, so we're almost at the end of chapter one with lesson 1.6, explaining changes in trait distribution. So a useful key concept here about cause and effect. Biologists analyze data about population and environment, the causes, to explain changes in the distribution of traits and populations, the effects. And that's actually what we've been doing this whole time. We've been thinking about why would a trait be adaptive or non-adaptive depending on the environment the organism's living in? So let's get a little practice in on describing changes to a population. What we're going to be considering is the thorn palm water storage traits, and we're going to try to describe why the distribution of traits change in this population. So spend a moment looking at the histogram. Okay, let's analyze this together to explain. Originally, these uh, thorn palms lived in a relatively high rainfall environment. And at that time, there was mostly thorn palms that had a low amount of water storage or a medium amount. There was only a few that had a high amount of water storage. But 50 generations later, when the environment changed to low rainfall, all we see is just the trait for level nine water storage, and there's no variation in the population. Well, why did this happen? If we're thinking about a plant's ability to survive without water or without rainfall, they need an ability to store water somehow. What happened is when the environment changed to low rainfall, all of the thorn palms that did not have the ability to store water eventually died because they weren't able to complete life functions. But for those with a level nine water storage trait, this was adaptive to low rainfall. All of those with the nine level water storage trait were able to survive, store water, and reproduce offspring. Over time, the level nine water storage trait became the only one in the population because it was most adaptive to its new environment. Okay, now it's your turn. Thinking about the Australope fur distribution traits, based on the information given, how can you explain why the distribution of traits changed in this population? Go ahead and press pause now.